Today's Polo 101 video is going to cover regular fouls. Remember, the regular foul is signaled when the referee blows a single whistle. A regular foul occurs when you impede or otherwise prevent the free movement of an opponent who is not holding the ball. Holding is defined as lifting, carrying, or touching the ball, but does not include dribbling the ball. Dribbling is when the water polo player is swimming and the ball is in front of them in the water. This idea of not holding the ball is very important in water polo. The referee is not going to call a regular foul while you are holding the ball. That is why you see water polo players letting go of the ball to draw the foul. Now once you draw the foul, you have a free throw or a free pass. You have three seconds to make a pass or put the ball in play. Putting the ball into play can occur by letting go of the ball or putting it in the water. The defender cannot interfere with the free throw. Once you put the ball into play, however, the defender can approach you and play defense as usual. Now there is no stoppage in play with the free throw. As soon as you draw the foul, you can pick it up and pass it to a teammate. There is also no limit to the number of regular fouls a player can commit in a game. You can foul a hundred times with no penalty. And that's why you hear the single whistle so often during the game. All right, let's talk about this concept of being live. Being live means the ability to shoot the ball. If I'm live, I can shoot the ball. If I'm not live, I can't. After a foul is charged, so after I draw a foul, I am not live. I can't shoot the ball. So if Nick fouls me, come up. I can't shoot the ball. I'm not live. I have to pass it to a teammate and get it right back in order to be live. Reed, get me live. Right back, now I'm live. Now I can go in. You'll see a lot of times, especially at the wings, they'll draw a foul and the defense will drop back into two meters. Yeah. And that looks like this. I can't shoot, I can't pass them in two meters, we're effectively stymied. I gotta get it to Reed, Reed, get it back, here, defense comes out, clean it. This is why we recommend, don't try to draw the foul at the wing. Try to make the pass into two meters. Make the play. Don't automatically draw the foul. A lot of times you can absorb the contact and put it in. So, I'm not going to allow him to foul me. I'm going to try to make the play this time. Don't foul me, Nick. I don't let him foul me. I make the play into two meters. Moves the offense much faster. You'll see the best players are the ones that are able to move the ball around the perimeter quickly and into two meters. Now, there's one exception to this rule that you can't shoot after a free throw. Of course they had to make an exception because the game's not confusing enough for the spectators. It's called the five meter rule. It says, if I foul him five meters or further out from the goal, he may shoot the ball as long as he does it in one motion and without delay. No hesitation, no pump face. So that looks like this. I'm gonna foul Nick here. Now, I have to honor his free throw. So I can't be all over him or that's gonna be an ejection. I have to back up just like he has a free throw. All I can do is put my hand up. Well, I hope that clears up all those confusing whistles that you hear during the game. Remember to check out our Shaquatics YouTube page for all the videos in our Polo 101 series. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.